Welcome to the very first episode of a brand new season. In fact, a new chapter for us here on Zoom TV because from today, we will be known as Zoom, the show that explores everything that flies, drives and floats. And I'm going to tell you, it's so good to be back. Now, so much has happened while we've been away. A ton of cars have hit the road from some of the biggest manufacturers in the world. Now, if you're a fan of the more unique beasts, you wouldn't be wrong thinking more and more of these are being reborn and hitting our roads, our waters and our skies, which is why we're on the hunt for Zoomaholics, people with cool cars, bikes, boats, planes, anything that zooms and we want to have you on the show. So if you know anyone or you've got something cool, we want to hear from you. Now I'm excited to tell you what's on the very first episode of Zoom. Thanks to City Toyota, Alan Simons introduces you to the brand new member of the Toyota family, the new tough 4x4 Fortuna. No matter where you are in Australia, if you want more talk from your diesel, you can now access United Fuel Injection thanks to their new website and online store. Thanks to Bayswater Mazda, we check out this little beauty, the new Mazda CX-3 compact SUV. And we start our hunt today for our Zoomaholic of 2016 with Carlo and his amazing one-of-a-kind Chevrolet. Get ready, welcome to Zoom. Last eight years, we've kept you up to date with everything Toyota, thanks to City Toyota, and of course, this man, Wayne Smith. Wayne, mate, first thing, thank you. Thanks, Aaron. It's been a great opportunity to use your vehicle to showcase our vehicles. I like what you did there. So over the last eight years, what's been some of your favourite models that we've showcased on Zoom TV, but now Zoom? Aaron, we started off with the famous Ruckus, and that's been a great, exciting journey, and actually your program won us the dealership presentation for that model in Australia. We were very privileged and proud to, uh, to be part of that. It was a good start. That's right, it was a fantastic start. The other one was the FJ Cruiser, which we've seen come into the market as well, and it was a great opportunity to showcase that product. And then, of course, we looked at the Australian design Toyota Camry. That's right, Aaron, and also from that led to the Camry Hybrid. So the show has allowed us to showcase hybrid technology. And then we went inside your service centre, met some of your key staff, and looked at how you do some stuff very uniquely, which makes you one of the most popular and most successful Toyota dealers in Australia. It's a great family business, Aaron, and I'm really proud to be a part of it. We've got some great staff that work for us. Now, Wayne, let's start talking about this year. What are we in for this year? Aaron, we've got the all-new Fortuna. It's a great new car. People have been looking for a diesel, true four-wheel drive, seven-seat wagon, and Toyota has bought that out, built on that new Hilux platform. How are you finding that people are receiving it? Really good, Aaron. It's a hole in the market that people were really chasing, and Toyota has now produced that for them. OK, well, thank you very much for the last eight years. I'm going to find out what Alan thought of it, and so are you, because here's Alan, thanks to City Toyota, with the all-new Fortuna. When we're talking genuine four-wheel drive capability, along with all the stylishness and luxuries of a modern sedan car, well, of course, we're talking Toyota. And when we're talking the 2015 Fortuna Crusade, well, of course, we're talking City Toyota. City Toyota has been a leader in Toyota sales and service for many, many years. And the team know their Toyota vehicles inside and out. And the all-new Fortuna takes its place here in the lineup of quality Toyotas as another welcome addition to the range. This is a four-wheel drive wagon for people who seriously want to go off-road. The hardcore, diesel-only Fortuna is a seven-seater SUV that maximizes refinement, safety and value for money. And this car will take you anywhere. Off-road towing a caravan, on-road hauling the kids to school. This is the ideal go-round Australia workhorse or go-round the block shopping car. Let's have a look at what we get. We get all the fruit. Seven airbags, a reversing camera, stability and traction control, Bluetooth and cruise control. The range-topping Crusade includes 18-inch alloys, sat-nav, digital radio and a powered driver's seat. 
and of course there's the full 5 star ANCAP safety rating. There's plenty of room and comfort inside. The 1,702 litre maximum luggage area is accessed by a power tailgate and the comforting full-size spare tyre is mounted under the floor. There are also some well thought out features like overhead air conditioning vents in row 2 and the grab handles low in the B pillar to help smaller people access their seat. Towing capacity has also been taken into consideration with an incredible 3,000 kilogram capacity. And there are other nice touches throughout, like the twin glove boxes, one of them cooled. Plenty of nooks and crannies to look after phones and all the other items we need with us these days. This is a quiet, refined tour. So, Toyota's bulletproof off-road reputation just got another boost. This car reeks of success. Quite a simple recipe, actually. Take one of Australia's most trusted brands, add a refined seven-seat SUV body dripping with Aussie engineering, and sit back and watch them sell like hotcakes. Test drive the Toyota Fortuna Crusade soon at citytoyota.net.au. So there you go, the all new Fortuna. What did you think? Alan looked like he had fun, did you? Do you have one? Well, if you do, we want to find out what you think. And you can do that by going to our website under the video, make a comment. And if you do that, you can go in the draw to win your very own floor mats, thanks to the guys here at City Toyota. After the break, I'm going to show you how to save money on diesel parts, thanks to the guys at United Fuel Injection. They've got a line. That's come up next on Zoom. In 2014, United Fuel Injection put their very first part online for sale. Now they have more than 2,500 individual parts and they sell a ton of product across Australia and in fact across the world. Ken, you must be excited to find out that people across the world are using your product. It's been quite amazing. We, um, we've definitely grown our business through internet marketing and we've been quite amazed at the outcome. I know that one of the directors of United Fuel Injection, Matt, was selling a lot of parts on the Facebook social network, but now you're actually going direct to the customer and yep. making it as easy as you can for them to buy. Absolutely. I tried it on the laptop, worked beautifully. It also works on a tablet and on a smartphone. And I liked how clean and easy it was to just access the different departments that you have in mm. United Fuel Injection. Well, I'm really excited with the new website. I think it's fantastic. You can actually navigate it around really easily. You can book a service. You can go to any of our departments, send an email request about a problem you have or a question that you have. We've also got online chat and on our shopping trolley card as well, where people looking for a parts can Get a bit confused because there's so many different items to choose from they can just go on live chat and ask us a question are your people that are manning the chat actually united fuel injection people absolutely yes they're sitting right here in the office with us so they have access to expert advice from our staff immediately. Now, if you'd like to get more talk out of your diesel or get your vehicle serviced, make sure you go to the place that we recommend, which is United Fuel Injection, Turbocharger Sales and Service. And you can get there by going to unitedfuel.com.au. Now, if you're passionate about things that fly, drive or float, there's no better place to share that passion than attending a live event. Thanks to United Fuel Injection and City Toyota, here's some live events we think you should attend. Victorians get ready for one of the biggest motor shows of the year, the Meguiar's Motor X 2016. With more than 25,000 expected and nearly 500 of Australia's best show cars and bikes on display, this is one event not to be missed. You can catch some of the most famous movie and TV cars or watch entrants compete for over $100,000 in prize money. So there's going to be some great competitions. It's all happening at the Melbourne Showgrounds on Saturday the 16th and Sunday the 17th of July. And if you're a Queenslander, listen up if you're a fan of American style and muscle because this event is for you. It's the All-American Car Show and Swap Meet 
happening in Rock Lee. Open to all American vehicles with some of the most iconic models fighting it out for trophies and bragging rights, you don't want to miss this event. Don't miss the show and shine, the swap meet, trade stalls and leave your rescues at home because there's plenty of food there on the day. It all starts at 6am Sunday 17th of July at the Rock Lee Showgrounds. And another great motoring event for the Queenslanders is the Corvette's Down Under Classic Car Show. Witness the evolution of this iconic supercar, which has been in production for more than 60 years. There's free entry for the public with trade stalls, raffles and plenty of entertainment for the kids. It's on Sunday the 17th of July at Pelican Park in Clontarf. So there you go, there are our three favourite live events as submitted by you. Now if you have a live event coming up, go to our website and submit it and you never know, we might give it a plug on the show. To find out more, go to zoomtv.com.au. Long ago, if you took a walk through a car park, you'd notice nothing but Ford and Holdens, and they'd all be either a ute, a sedan, a wagon, and maybe even the odd panel van. Well, if you went back to that same car park today, you would notice just how many different makes and models are available for us to drive here in Australia. And if all the critics are correct, you would notice a lot of these. The all-new compact SUV from Mazda, the CX-3. Releasing a compact SUV had success written all over it. Combining economy with a sports utility vehicle, pure genius. And you would be if you got the design right. It would have to be economical. It would need to be easy to drive, but it couldn't look like a small car. And at the same time, it couldn't be big. That would make it an ordinary SUV. Most importantly, it would have to look stylish, have road presence and appeal to both genders and all ages. So how do you do that? Well, you do that with colour. So you would need to include the standard ones that people expect and chuck in a couple of pretty cool ones. Okay, so what makes a compact SUV an award winner? Well, the first thing we need to do is consider what would make one great. Well, I suppose the most obvious would be size. It needs to be small enough that you can zip in and out of the city and yet provide enough room for the family. Mazda CX-3, check. You'd also need to get enough technology and safety features that you wouldn't expect in a car at this price. Again, check. Finally, would need to look good and deliver amazing fuel economy. And when it comes to the Mazda CX-3, I think the term they use is checkmate. These days, choice is no longer a choice. It's a must-have. Car owners want to be able to personalise their drive, plus they want a car that gets them to work and on their day off gets them and their mates to the beach. It comes in a choice of petrol or diesel, six-speed auto or six-speed manual. It's available in a front-wheel drive or you can choose the all-wheel drive. And colour, well, there's a colour that'll suit every driver. Dion, they've counted up all the votes and the CX-3 is officially Australia's number one car. You guys must be really proud. Yeah, look, we're super proud of the CX-3, Aaron. It's been a fantastic success since they launched it last year. It's been judged the best car in Australia and not just in the segment. What do you think gave it its edge? Look, I think the overall packaging of the car and, and people at the moment, SUVs are a real hot property. So at the moment, this car is just packaged so well. So it's a great little city car. Um, plenty of room inside and it just drives fantastic. The medium sized SUV, that's where I see all the focus is going to be over the next few years. Yeah, absolutely. So it's an absolute booming segment and it's because again, people want to drive in that nice commanding driving position and it suits all different types of people. Younger people, older people, they all want exactly the same thing. Some people out there say, what is the attraction to an SUV? And that's the secret, isn't it? It's the driving position, the visibility, the confidence that that gives the driver. Yeah, exactly. So compared to a sedan, you can see a bit further into the traffic and particularly the CX-3, it handles so well, it handles like a great small car and that's probably its real big strength. Okay, now it's time for the fast three. You ready for it? Warranty on the vehicle. So warranty, like all our cars, is three years unlimited kilometre warranty, which is a great warranty. Fuel economy. So the economy, they do these in a petrol and a diesel. So the diesel can be as little as 4.8 litres per 100 k's. Right. 
and the two litre petrol is just 6.1 litres per 100. And the final question for the Fast 3, favourite feature? Look, the CX3 has got so many great features, it's really hard to pinpoint just one. I think the car looks fantastic, it's nice and compact, but the room and the way it's packaged inside gives you that feeling of room inside the car, which makes it great for everybody. The interior of the CX-3 is more than enough to match the expectations implied by the exterior, no matter what variant you choose. And by the way, there's four. The Neo, the Max, the S-Touring and the top of the range, Akari. I'm navigating my six-speed auto all-wheel drive two-litre petrol CX-3, which averages just 6.7 litres per 100 k's, with a very reassuring leather sports wheel perched on extremely comfortable seats. And reminded by the well-placed chrome inserts, I'm driving a Mazda. Controls for the electric windows are close by, and the floating switch that allows me to become one with the CX-3 is hard to let go of. The Mazda's 7-inch LCD active driving display, which comes with the S-Touring and the Akari as standard, is easy to read and placed perfectly so I can remain focused on what I'm here to do, drive. Plus, it gives me a clear view when I'm parking the CX-3. All variants are packed with Mazda's safety features and come with things that you don't want to hear are options anymore. Things like cruise control, electric windows, power mirrors, ABS, traction control, dynamic stability control, electronic brake force distribution, parking sensors, and there's airbags everywhere. Now the CX-3 was not a good car. It is a great car. It drives great, you'd have to wear it looks great and it will give you great fuel economy. Now if you want one, you've got to go and see our mates where the driving's better and that's bayswatermazda.com.au or follow the links from our website. I've got to tell you, it's definitely a worthy winner. Five years ago, we introduced you to this beautifully restored 55 Chev, which at the time was one of the most unique vehicles we've ever had on the show. And I remember the owner being so passionate about his pride and joy that he boasted he'd never sell it. Well, five years on and I can confirm that Carlo has stayed true to his word and still hasn't sold her but he has added another unique vehicle to his collection. So unique, in fact, that after receiving an email from him about it, I had to come and check it out for myself. Carla, how are you? Good, nice to see you again. Yeah, you too, and nice to see this. What is it? It runs on the late model Corvette chassis. You can have it from an 05 Corvette to 014 Corvette, and it's a 1957 front, a 1958 middle, and a 1959 Bel Air rear end. So it's fair to say yeah. this is a combination of cars. Yes, it is. It's three in one and it's built to your likings and that's why they're called N2As. N2A stands for none two alike, so it's all an individual build for how you like your car, so there's a one-off. Now, I want to see the, uh, the heart of it, this car. Show us underneath. I can't wait anymore. No problem. Now, I'm presuming it opens from back to front? Yes, it does. It's the same as the old 55. Whoa, now that's an engine. So yeah, an LS3, it's a 6.2 litre. It's got 430 horsepower as a standard motor. Can you start her up for us? I definitely will, and I'll even take you for a run. Well, let's hear her run first. <laughs> now that is a beast, that is a beast. I'll tell you what, mate, I'm gonna jump in with you and we'll go for a spin. Now, I see what you've done, Carlo. You've actually, well, you've made yourself your very own hybrid. 
Yeah, I have actually. I said, you've got running in the lake, Corvette running gear, and also you've got in Corvette interior, but reupholstered it to my likings. I've gone the pinstripe in on the inside, colour matching the turquoise colour on the outside. Everything that you've done, the lines in the car, the fit out of the car, the interior of the car, the stitching, everything is immaculate. Well, you know, if you're going to do something, you've got the passion for it, you just spend the time and the patience to do it. You've got to have patience. Now, did you hit a couple of hurdles through the build process? I suppose when you first start, there's more than one way to tackle something. Um, not quite sure because it came all as parts and had to be built and also had to be converted from left to right and drive where it's taken me a little bit longer to do. Listen to those doors shut, I tell you, everything about this car impresses me. Thanks very much, Aaron. Now, we had the roof off. I don't have the hair to test it, but there wasn't much air coming in. It was a comfortable experience, even with the roof off. The best thing was listening to that engine just make its nice note as we cruised around. Thank you. Yeah, it is very nice to drive in, so glad you experienced it. Good bloke, good bloke. <laughs> now, if you want to know more about Carlo and his beautiful car, make sure you go to zoomtv.com.au. And if you've got something cool that flies, drives or floats that's as cool as this, we would love to hear from you. All you've got to do is go to the website, click on the contact page, send us an email, and you never know, you and it might be on the show. Now before we go, we'd like to thank the people that came on today's show and made it possible. City Toyota, United Fuel Injection and of course Bayswater Mazda. Now if you would like to come on the show, all the details are on our website. Or if you have something cool that flies, drives or floats like Carlo, we want you to become a Zoomaholic. Know someone that has something cool? Dob them in. Go to our website, click on I'm a Zoomaholic, upload some pictures, maybe some videos. Definitely give us a description and you never know, you or them or both of you could be on a coming show. Now don't go anywhere, there's something cool coming up on 7 Mate. Bye for now, thanks for watching and remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.